All right, tonight, Baltimore County Police have arrested three people in connection with a series of commercial armed robberies in Catonsville. Let's go to Jeff Hager with more on that story tonight. Jeff. The suspects allegedly pulled off four armed robberies in a matter of 48 hours before police caught up with them at this motel in Catonsville. Captured on camera, a man in a hooded sweatshirt coming behind the counter of a 7-Eleven on Frederick Road to rob a clerk at Knife Point and then taking off with the cash drawer. Owner Gurkhar Paul Singh says he lost more than just the money. The first girl uh, who got hit, she was crying. She, she couldn't stay here, so she never came back. This armed robbery happened on November 19th, and just 10 days later, the same robber returned and robbed the store again. What turned out to be three robbers, two males and one female, ended up hitting four businesses in just 48 hours before police used surveillance video to track their getaway vehicle to this motel just off Interstate 95, where they arrested them. In these desperate times during the pandemic, with struggling businesses, job loss, and mounting bills just before the holidays, we asked police what drove the suspects to commit the crime. These robberies were drug-related. These three people uh, were doing drugs and needed money to get more drugs. Senseless crimes in full view of surveillance cameras that almost ensure the criminals will get caught, but not before robbing their victims of something far more precious than the money. It's kind of like living in fear every day. That's terrible to be a business owner. Every night, uh, you know, before I sleep, I pray to God, please do not happen this overnight tonight. So it's, it's not a good feeling. The suspects now face a series of charges, including armed robbery, theft, and assault, and are being held with no bond. Reporting in Baltimore County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.